This weekend marks the opening of modern gun deer season in Arkansas. Channel 7's Emma Allen checked in with the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission today and joins us now with what awaits hunters in the woods. Emma. Good evening, Chris. Not only is hunting beneficial for wildlife conservation, but Arkansas Game and Fish says it also has a positive impact on e economies in those small rural towns. It's a big deal in Arkansas. Modern gun season is almost here. Right, Saturday, November 9th, it's the it's a big day, probably the biggest hunting day in, in Arkansas. Trey Reed with Arkansas Game and Fish says over 300,000 hunters are expected to throw on some bright orange and hit the woods this weekend. To put it in perspective, uh, as of today, we've we've had about 44, 45,000 deer check through archery season, which started in late September, our alternative firearm season, which lasted nine days. We'll have that many checked probably in one day on Saturday. But Reed says white-tailed deer haven't always been this abundant. We've got records dating back to the late 1930s, and I want to say it was like, you know, a couple of hundred deer were checked, you know, there in you know, like 1938, 1939. And now we are, yeah, on average, uh, checking about 200,000 deer a year. So why do we have so many deer now? Well, Reed gives credit to conservation efforts. We're, we're managing our habitats better and, and obviously with the, the modern Game and Fish Commission that's been around since 1945 using science and, and uh, you know, research to, to, to manage our populations, so it, it, they, they've come back. If you decide to participate in the modern gun opening weekend, Reed says to be cautious of chronic wasting disease, a contagious and deadly neurological disease that affects deer. Know where you're hunting and know the rules and regulations re related to chronic wasting disease. We do have some pretty uh, strict rules about carcass movement and parts of deer, what you can take out of a CWD zone. And so be aware of those and also have that animal tested. Reed says there are over 100 drop-off locations and multiple taxidermists around the state that will take a sample and test it for the disease for free. On your side, I'm Emma Allen. Hey, Emma, have fun out in the woods. We know you'll be there. We'll post a link to those uh, drop-off locations on our website, katv.com.